Before we go back to Lou Rockwell of uh, LouRockwell.com, I want to remind folks that if you get your orders into InfoWarsStore.com today with the books, the films, Exposing Agenda 21, Behind the Green Mask, or Strategic Relocation, Best and Safest Places to Live Inside the U.S. and Worldwide, a country-by-country -country analysis uh, breakdown with uh, Joel Skousen, or whether you get the pro-pure water filtration, stainless steel systems that cut out the fluoride, the glyphosates, just all of it, uh, or whether it's the InfoWarsLife.com line of amazing proprietary supplements like Fluoride Shield and Survival Shield or our own Chiapas-grown, high mountain, shade-grown coffee that's my personal favorite. So I made the connection down there like a good old-fashioned free market person, brought it in, two different medium roast. Folks are getting it, and you hear the rave reviews when, when people call in. You see the rave reviews on YouTube. I'm not going to sell cruddy coffee. This is my personal favorite. And folks are agreeing it's their favorite or one of their favorite coffees. Because, you know, taste varies. So InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We now also have a new line that is collectible because we only do one run uh, of the stainless, uh, you know, covered uh, belt buckles. We have, They're all brass, but one is nickel-plated and the other solid brass with George Washington with the answer to 1984, 1776. There's only 500 of each of those. They're going to sell out very, very soon. We've got Made in America golf shirts with patriotic messages, uh, trying to bring industry back to this country through free association. Madein1776.com will take you directly there. We have Made in America American flags, uh, money clips, uh, lapel pins that will strike up conversations, ball caps, Madein1776.com, or just go to InfoWarsStore.com. You can find the link in there to the 1776 page. But all of your purchases fund this operation. We don't take taxpayer money, as you know, like most of the mainstream media does through their parent companies getting bailouts or stimulus money like MSNBC or hundreds of millions like NPR to preach an anti-human, anti-God, anti-liberty message. We're funded by free association by people like you out there. So thank you all for your support. Please be sure and support our AM and FM affiliates by telling people about the show and other shows that are on those stations, becoming a sponsor or supporting those sponsors and letting them know why you support those sponsors because they want to bring a tyranny in to have a controlled economy because they're afraid of the markets, you voting with your dollars, your euros, your currency, and then moving them seismically. I want to ask Lou Rockwell about this. 20 years ago, you couldn't find organic food anywhere except in a few little shops and it was very expensive because the market hadn't been built up and it was cost prohibitive. Now, because people slowly supported it, it's coming down to parity with the garbage food. That's a prime example of a libertarian von Mies type uh, revolution. As an economist, as a researcher, break down how we could take things back by supporting each other and local communities and farmers markets and the Von Mies Institute or the Ron Paul Channel and, and, and promoting the new media, making it the dominant media which we're very, very close to doing versus this globalist revolution. And then I want to tie that into Mark Faber says the Fed will never end uh, QE. He said that on CNBC last night and some other uh, economic news I want to get into you. But uh, let's talk about that, Lou Rockwell, because you are an expert on it. How do we use our choices, voting with our dollars, to take society back and then an overall economic outlook? Well, Alex, you're exactly right that, you know, what you eat, is essential. You want to stay out of these government hospitals where all the sickness is. You probably want to stay away from a lot of these doctors who are just agents of the government and want to put you on a bunch of big pharma drugs. So it's, it's it, Mises in his book Socialism, written so many years ago, said socialized, one of the, the worst effects of socialized medicine uh, is that it, that, that it circumscribes and takes away the will to health. And, you know, this one of the lies of the government is they, they, they claim they're providing health care. It's not health care. Health care is within your, within your own control. What they're providing is allegedly sickness medicine. And, uh, of course, it's getting worse and worse. It's getting more and more dangerous. The drugs are more and more dangerous. They cause more and more sickness. So if you can do anything possible to stay out of a hospital, to stay out of a regular doctor's office, um, you know, it, it, you live longer, you feel better, everything is much better. And the, the, the cornerstone of that is what you eat. So uh, uh, it seems to me that's the first thing you could do. I like the primal diet, but 
you know, whatever, whatever people, whatever works for people, you know, that's what they should do. But you have to take responsibility for yourself and what you eat, in uh, what you store, in uh, all, you know, how you live your life, exercise, all those kinds of things. You can't look to that, to Obama or the rest, or, you know, uh, Dr. Emanuel, one of the monsters of, uh, of uh, socialized medicine in the whole world, who was put in charge of this, this whole evil program. Uh, but it's not, I should also say, really, when I call it socialist medicine, it's actually not socialist medicine medicine, it's fascist medicine, because it's the big companies in the healthcare industry, uh, in the pharmaceutical industry, in the insurance industry, in cahoots with the government against the rest of us. So it's a classic fascist operation, uh, Obamacare. But look at the opposition to it. They, not only because they're incompetent, but more and more the people study it, they see what's happening. There's a, there's a, you know, there's a revolution going on in opposition to this thing. So uh, I think they're going to have a lot of trouble not just technically, because, of course, they're all the government is, you know, composed of a lot of boobs. Sometimes they sometimes have, uh, unfortunately, smart people producing killer robots and, and uh, atomic bombs and uh, all their other things. But they certainly don't produce anything anybody needs or is good for society or is good for the flourishing of human beings. They're the they're the great uh, center of opposition to the flourishing of human beings, except, of course, for themselves, for the 1%, maybe the tenth of 1% of uh, is the actual... Let's talk about the economy. Um, again, we have the chairman of the Von Mies Institute on, whose research in Austrian economics are proving absolutely accurate, and the true veritas compared to the Keynesian fraud and other systems. What is the position of the world economy based on the numbers you've got and all the economists you work with as the head of your prestigious organization, some of the top economists in the world, uh, you know, now uh, basically uh, adopting um, uh, uh, this school of thought. Uh, what is the real state of the economy? Well, I think we all fear what, as you say, what Mark Faber said uh, last night, that they'll never give up on QE. But uh, they don't actually want hyperinflation. Hyperinflation is not good for the people at the top. It's not good for the government. They couldn't care less that it's bad for regular people, but it's bad for them. It's very destabilizing. Uh, so I don't think they actually want it. On the other hand, um, they're so arrogant that they're capable of doing things because they think they know better. They think there's no such thing as economic law. They can just do whatever they want and have whatever impact they, they want it to have. And you know nothing bad happens. So it is possible to have hyperinflation. Um, we're already seeing, as anybody who goes shopping knows, uh, it's not just you know two percent or three percent inflation when you look at uh, what food is going up by. It's much much higher than that. That's true. There's already a lot of uh, inflation. The real definition of inflation, in, in terms of the increase in the money supply, this is leading to higher prices already. And uh, at what point that explodes, you know, I, I wish I knew I'd be rich, but it's it's uh, and as you it, know, it, it is coming. Exactly. And I want you to continue. But just to back you up, here's a CNS News. Even though they're adding more awful into the round beef, the pink slime in the last decade to cover up inflation, price of ground beef hits all time high and it's only going up and every staple's going up. And people I know in my family that have been middle class, lower middle class, upper middle class, they're on the verge of being destitute across Texas. I've got family that's having trouble making ends meet for the first time ever. And almost everyone else I know is having big problems. And people are having to move in with their parents and vice versa. I mean, I think we're really under a depression. And you travel the country. This nation is rotting unless you're in D.C. where they report they're making record profits and having their salaries increase. Lee Rockwell. And their houses are the most beautiful and... I don't I don't advocate visiting Washington because it's a uh, uh, it's a very bad place. But if you ever happen to find yourself there, look at how they live. Uh, this is just like the capital in Catching Fire or in Hunger Games. And the rest of us out here in the districts indeed are hurting. And I think all of us know we all feel it, even if we you know, don't know economics uh, or studying the economy. We all feel there's something drastically wrong economically. We fear for our children's future. We fear for our grandchildren's future. Uh, so there is real trouble. On the other hand, these things can be fixed, but they require massive reform of, of the people in Washington and all their agencies and all the big corporations associated with them. Uh, I, think, I think, again, this is coming. My fear is we've got some years of very tough times ahead. It's why... You know, you're right to get people to want to store some food in their houses and 
and, and that sort of thing, because we don't entirely know what's going to happen. We, we can know already bad things are happening. Things are going to get worse. But I, again, I don't think this is anything permanent. Sure. I think, I, think, I think these people are going to be pushed back. I think we're going to do it. But you got to be ready for bad stuff in the meantime. Lou Rockwell, uh, again, chairman of the Von Mies Institute. Uh, I always get you up here and I ask the questions. But, but I want to spend a few minutes on what you want to say. I mean, what did you wake up this morning thinking about politically, economically? And then I want to get into, I'm not romanticizing Russia by any means, but they're trying to move in the direction of free market from what I've seen, though they're stumbling mm -hmm. versus centralization here. The West is rolling missiles up to their border, so they roll missiles up to their border. And oh, how dare you? I mean, I look at how the government rolled out Obamacare, and they are incompetent at many levels. Are they going to cause a nuclear war? My gut tells me I see signs of war everywhere. So I want to get to that. But first, what else is on your mind? What else do you want to tell our vast audience of patriots? Well, Alex, I'll just you know talk about Russia for a minute and Putin. Um, I, I, I was never a fan of Putin, but it seems to me he's uh, doing a much better job of things than, say, Obama is doing. Uh, he did prevent, uh, along with uh, the American people, uh, the, an attack on a worse attack on Syria. Obama's and his cohorts have been attacking Syria for some time, but they didn't bomb it. So far, they haven't bombed Iran, and I think that's uh, China and Russia uh, preventing that from happening. Uh, Iran, a country that's never done anything to anybody, but yet we're supposed to destroy them. Um, so that's not happening. It's uh, I see people who who criticize Putin uh, for going around without a shirt. Because he looks great, but also they don't like the fact that it shows the crucifix around his neck. So I don't know. It's it's uh, maybe it's all just a political trick. Maybe he's just a politician like all the rest of them. But Russia has moved dramatically towards freedom uh, from the days of Soviet communism. No, I mean, but you're huge, right. Huge, huge influence uh, in in the whole world, and so the U.S. wants to shut them down. Reagan had promised Gorbachev that if the Russians withdrew, the U.S. would not move NATO up to the Russian borders. Of course, the U.S. didn't keep its word. That's exactly all these aggressive moves. Uh, but they still fear Russia. They still fear China. And uh, I hope to goodness, you know, there's, <laughs> the neocons all want perpetual war. Um, a, a war with Russia and China, of course, could mean the end of the world. So, uh, but these guys are crazy. The neocons are insane in addition to being evil. So I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm following what's happening in Russia. The tax rates are lower than ours. Um, and just, you know, it's religion has sprung back. It really never was crushed by Stalin and by and Lenin and the rest of the communists. They maybe crushed the outer, the outer view. And Putin points out that his mother had him baptized uh, as a baby in secret, which I'm sure a lot of Russian mothers did exactly the same thing. So religion is back. And uh, I don't know the whole. It's just very, very interesting to watch. And certainly, they have a they have a right to live their own lives internationally. The U.S. government has no right to tell the Russians what they should be doing. Of course, they don't have the right to tell us what we what we're doing either. They have no right to tell the Chinese what to be doing, or the Indians, or anybody else. The Brazilians, the Argentinians, the the Chileans. But there's more. Just like there's more and more resistance here, and just like. Even a tyrannical government depends on the consent of the governed because they're such a small minority as compared to the people. So does an empire require the consent exactly. of the provinces in the world? They're, they're losing that consent. They've lost that consent. So I think there's you know, great, interesting times ahead, but um, we just have to pray that uh, you know, those interesting times don't include uh, a world war. Ron Paul has said over and over again, it's been proven prescient, the key is when the socialist fascist system on top of it collapses that they're going to try to totally take over with a t system even worse on top of that we've got to point out they did this and clearly they did it that's right so how do we maximize this key no man's land in history where the future is being dictated i mean what should young people but also just everybody out there we have a great activist audience what should people be doing right now because uh, soon things are going to intensify and uh, we're, we're going into this in a good position now because you and so many others fought for decades to educate people about true Americana ideas, true liberty ideas, true Renaissance ideas. But Lou Rockwell, what do we do now to maximize going into this great time of change to like a judo move, take their assault on liberty, step out of the way and watch them fly out the window? Well, Alex, we need to emulate you. We need to emulate 
uh, writers, everybody should have a blog. Everybody should have a YouTube channel. If you're concerned, and of course, local people, let's take local people in Ohio who are concerned about this horrific Soviet-style law that the, those uh, state senators are proposing to have the uh, social workers, the, mar the armed monster social workers of Child Protective Services, come in and try to tell parents what to do with their children and give them permission to homeschool. So there ought to be a blog about that. Somebody who actually knows the situation on the ground. Uh, you can do commentaries with YouTube. You can write. And first, you have to read. Now, this is you know, not an instant thing. But of course, if, if you want to be, if you want people to listen to you, you have to gain knowledge. Here's an example. Here's an example. And I did this years ago when I had time. If you actually start following the family court and covering oh. CPS, they're yeah. just as a citizen on Access TV, you know, 18 years ago, they, they were committing so many crimes and not even putting the right name on fake paperwork and making stuff up. I would come in with citizen briefs and cover it. People would get their kids back that never would have. But it was so painful, I could only do it for a while because watching the evil judges and the, and the CPS were clearly pervs. It was so upsetting that I'll be honest, I'm not afraid of physical confrontation and things. But being around the evil, I was actually a coward to be around the, the, the demonic, soft, weird pedophiles that are the CPS. Well, well, you know, Alex, I mean, it's, you know, it's tough to approach Mordor, right? It's tough to actually see that stuff. So that's why we need, it. We need you know, many, many people involved. We can't just leave it up to a few. So we all need to be involved. We all need to learn about local crimes. You may not be able to follow what's going on in Washington, but in your own town, there are horrors going on. There are despicable things going on. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Absolutely. It. Final segment with Lou Rockwell and your near phone calls. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. A final segment with Lou Rockwell, the chairman of the Von Mies Institute. And, of course, they run the great news and commentary site that promotes liberty and other thought crimes, uh, lourockwell.com. There's links to the Von Mies Institute right there on the site. But, you know, I actually started getting tears in my eyes earlier when I started thinking about the CPS stuff. And I know why people don't want to go fight evil. Because if you actually go out there and look at it, it's real, it's going on, and it tears your guts out. But it's only going to get worse if we, the people, don't stand up and take action. Look at how they're demonizing Christians. Look at how they're demonizing the family. Uh, these really are weirdo control freaks. A normal, successful person does not want to run other people's lives. And, and, and it's so popular, they can't get people away from them with a stick. The, the government and corporate types that engage in these takeovers through inside deals literally are, are people that in a natural environment, as you've documented, sir, couldn't be toilet attendants. So in closing, how do we have a fundamental revolution of ideas against them? And how do we bring them to justice and, and build a better world based on individualism and free choice and uh, communication and, and real community, not communism? Well, Alex, just like the market is composed of, you know, billions of transactions and millions of people cooperating together, so is the liberty movement. And there are many things people can do that may not occur immediately as great steps for liberty, but, but they are. For example, most of us have uh, teenagers or uh, younger children in our families that we need Christmas presents for. Well, how about giving them the uh, Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Game Trilogy? This is a great, beautifully written, three-volume uh, book, very libertarian, uh, inspiring for kids to read, but adults too, by the way. Uh, or give people a copy of Henry Hazlitt's Economics in One Lesson or Murray Rothbard's For a New Liberty. Uh, there are all kinds of great books that, that you can give depending on the person's uh, you know, age and educational level and so forth. So just if you're a Johnny Appleseed of great literature for freedom this Christmas, boy, you've done something very, very good. And everybody, it's the division of labor. Not all of us can go and sit in the CPS hearings and not all of us can run a great radio network and so forth. We all, we all have different things to do, but we all can do something. We have to do something. And uh, if we all, if enough of us do something, something good for other people, uh, something good for the cause of freedom, then we can win it.
Absolutely. Hollywood and the, and the social engineers always have one archetypal Hercules defeating all the enemies while everyone cowers. But real history is made by little people doing little things that move mountains together. So if you just wake up one person, folks, a month, or if you just resist a tyranny or laugh at it or say no to it or don't cower to the system uh, or don't let these corrupt corporations push you around or don't let them cheat you on a bill, being active, getting into the animating contest, making it fun to be alive and awake, it will intensify your human spirit. We've just got to bring the human spirit back. Final comments, Lou Rockwell. Well, Alex, that's exactly right. And uh, we must never forget, no matter how dark things are, we have the truth on our side. These other people are the, the uh, battlers for lies and for all other kinds of evil. Uh, we have the truth. So the truth will win out if we're worthy of it. So we should all seek to be worthy of the truth. Well said. Uh, what are you planning to do in the new year in the fight for liberty? Well, I want to do more to expand what the Mises Institute is doing. Uh, we're having, uh, I think, a tremendous effect on young people, uh, not only of college age, but younger. Um, we're going to just keep reaching more and more of them, teaching them the truth about economics, about what the government is doing to them, about the Federal Reserve and all the other criminal gangs in Washington. And uh, we're having great success with our website. Uh, we want to do more. We want to uh, reach more people. And that's our determination. Well, God bless you. We salute you going into the new year. Thank you so much. And great job with the Ron Paul Channel. Thank you, Lou Rockwell. Thank you, Alex. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.